In this section, we are dealing with the physiography of Kerala. Physiography of any place and the physiographic classification are mainly depends upon two factors: the vast geomorphological surfaces and altitudinal characteristics. The physiography of Kerala has been classified mainly by three agencies. First of all, the State Planning Board in their report of High Level Committee on Land and Water Resource, 1984. Secondly, by the Kerala Gazetteer Volume 1, and third by National Centre for Earth Science Studies in 1984 in their Resource Atlas. The State Planning Board has classified Kerala physiography in threefold classification namely highland, midland, lowland it is the oldest and most common classification used in Kerala. Secondly, in the Kerala Gazetteer, here, it is a fourfold classification highland, foothill song, midland and lowland. And the National Centre for Excellent Studies they made a five-fold classification, mountains and peaks, highland, midland, lowland, and coastal plains and lagoons. First, we can discuss about the state planning board classification, that is the three-fold classification, highland, midland, lowland. As per the state planning board classification, Highland is a zone where the height is above 75 meter above the mean sea level and it covers an area of 18,650 square kilometer that is 48 percentage of geographical area of Kerala. The major plantations here are tea, coffee, rubber, and spices like pepper, cardamom, etc. The highest peak is Anamudi Peak, which has a height of about 2695 meter. Western Ghat shares the major portion of highland. Coming to the midland, it is a zone where the height ranges between 7.5 meter and 75 meter above the mean sea level. And it covers an area of 16,200 square kilometer. That is 42 percentage of geographical area of Kerala. And the major plantations include cashew, coconut, arachnid, tapioca, banana, and vegetables. The population density here is higher than that of the highland. The next sort is lowland. It has a height of below 7.5 meter mean sea level. It covers an area of 4000 square kilometer that is only 10 percentage of geographical area of Kerala. The chief crops cultivated here are paddy and coconut. And it is a zone mainly comprises of shallow lagoons, marshes, kyles, river deltas, backwaters, etc. And Kutunat is best example for the lowland. Next is the Kerala Gazetteer classification that is the fourfold classification highland, foothill zone, midland and lowland. About the highland, as per the Kerala Gazetteer classification, it is a zone having height of above 600 meter above the mean sea level and the highest peak here is Anamudi and the height is 2695 meter and the southernmost peak is Agastya Kudam the height of about 1869 meter the other important peaks includes Chembra peak 2100 meter Banasura Peak 2073 meter, then Vellerimala 2200 meter, then comes the Plateaus. That is the major Plateaus in Rus, 
വയനാട് പ്ലേറ്റു മൂന്നാർ പ്ലേറ്റു ആൻഡ് നെല്ലിയാമ്പതി പ്ലേറ്റു ദിസ് റീജിയൺ ഇസ് കാറ്ററൈസ് ബൈ മെനി പാസസ് മേജർ വൺ ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ആര്യങ്കാവ് പാസൻ കൊല്ലം ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് കുമളി കമ്പം തേനി പാസൻ ഇടുക്കി ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് വാൾപ്പാറ പാസൻ തൃശൂർ ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് കുറ്റിയാടി വയനാട് പാസ് താമരശ്ശേരി പാസ് വിരഞ്ചാപേട്ട ഇരിട്ടി പാസൻ കണ്ണൂർ The second song is the Foothill Slope Song. The height ranges between 200 and 600 meters. And the song comprises of densely forested areas of foothills of Western Ghats. It is the densest vegetative song in Kerala, mainly comprises of evergreen forest. It is the world's biodiversity hotspot the silent valley national park is located in the zone it is a landslide prone area because of its high precipitation and steep slope the region is characterized by less population density the third zone is the midland in which the height ranges between 20 to 200 meter above the mean sea level it is a region located west of the foothill zone and east of the low land it's a rolling hill with gentle slope and wide valleys the major crops cultivated here are coconut rubber banana tapioca arecana tubers as well as vegetables the main activities are quarrying and plantation agriculture moving on the, to the next song the, the final song in kerala city of for full classification is the lowland the height of lowland is below 20 meter this is a song mainly comprises of soft rock structures like the sand dunes beaches ridges riverine deposits backwaters and wetlands the chief crops cultivated here are paddy and coconut the final classification is made by the national center for earth science studies and it is a 54 classification It includes mountains and peaks, highland, midland, lowland, and coastal plains and estuaries. About the mountain and peaks, it is a zone where the average height is above 1,800 meter mean sea level, and it covers only 0.64 percentage of total geographical area of Kerala. The main hills and peaks in this zone include Annamale Hills of Edicate District, Chembra Banasura Peaks of Vaina District and Agastya Kodam of Tiruvannadapuram District. The second zone is Highland. It has a height ranges between 600 and 1800 meter. Covers about 20.35% of geographical area of Kerala then moving on to the next zone midland it is a zone where the height ranges between 300 to 600 meter above the mean sea level it covers a geographical area of 8.44% major portion of midland lies in the eastern part of Kannur and Kasargod district then the lowland it's a zone having height ranges between 10 to 300 meter it covers an area of 54.17 percentage of kerala and it mainly constitutes of flat plains river terraces valley fills and other sedimentary formation The final classification is coastal plains and lagoons and it has a height of 
below 10 meter it covers only 16.4 percentage of total geographical area of Kerala it mainly consists upon upgraded platforms beach ridges beach dunes barrios beaches lagoons marshes estuaries etc the maximum width of this zone is in between Alapura and Chalua where it is 25 kilometers.